Hey hello guys this is Shubhaprato and welcome back to my channel Sagrishan If you watched my previous video then you should know that we have started making a Scara robotic arm In the previous video uh, we have done the basic calculation and the assembly of the robotic structure and in this video we will fix the robotic arm to a base and also do some uh, motoring action and kinematic stuff This is dev block 2 for the Scara robot so don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started If you are new to this channel then consider subscribing for more exciting videos like this for supporting me you can buy me a coffee link is given in the description for making the base of the robotic arm uh, i will use plywood or some kind of wood so i have to search for that in my uh, backyard and we will find some wood and then we will start making the base so let's go So I will choose this, but before that I have to measure the length and the width. Okay, the width is twenty-one centimeter. It will work. The base is less than the base is less than twenty-one centimeter, and I need a length here around thirty centimeter. Okay, so this is forty centimeter here, so it will work. So at first uh, we will clean this and cut this in the required dimensions. then we will fix the robotic arm to this place as the surface of the plywood is a little bit dirty so i will use my 350 watt orbital sander to sand the surface and clean it out so before sanding always remember put on your mask So now I will cut this plywood in required dimension. So first I will cut this front end because uh, some of these are broken little bit. So I will cut this at first, then measure thirty centimeter, and then will cut the rest. And I for cutting the plywood, I will use my circular saw. Let's do it. Now I will fix the acrylic base plate to the wooden structure. For that, uh, I have, we will uh, drill first in the acrylic sheets, and I will use two mm drill bit here, and use these two point five mm screws. These are self thread screws, which will be screwed into the wood uh, by itself. So now I am drilling. So I have drilled one side, and now I will drill another side. Let me open these links and see which side. Here.
so i have fixed the acrylic base plate to this uh, plywood pieces for getting stability and uh, by using this plywood i can also attach this to this main wood base so this stand will help me a lot like this so now i have to put some screws from bottom of this wooden piece which will go through this plywood so i have to mark the holes hole points actually and then drill drill it out let's drill that So finally I have fixed this wooden stand to this wooden base using 535 CSK screws uh, which is self thread screws and now I will again attach this because if we attach before it can break so I will attach this again using the same screws sorry I have to use the Phillips thread So we have fixed this uh, acrylic base to the wooden base, uh, this part is complete. We only left with this link, we have to attach these links to the servo motor and uh, I have in the previous video I have already attached this servo one to the links. So I will put it like this and I will use some M3 screws Sorry. and for tightening these links with the servo motor and another here So I have fixed this So it is the time for some motoring action We will power up the motor and give some signals to uh, manipulate the arm So let's do it To operate the Skara robot manually I made a setup using two potentiometer and the Arduino The Arduino will read the analog value of the two potentiometer and it will replicate the angle in the servo means I using the map function to uh, convert the analog reading into the servo angle which is analog reading which is from 0 to 1023 and the servo angle is from 0 to 180 so you, here you can see two potentiometer and the Arduino I make a clone copy of the SCARA robotic arm using some piece board and attach this to this potentiometer now if I do some motion in the clone SCARA robot, the original SCARA robot will copy the motion or mimic the motion of the copy SCARA robot. Here you can see. So this is the manual control of the SCARA robotic arm. Now I will write some letter into a paper for this. I am putting a piece of paper underneath this marker. Now I will write S. Yeah. 
it is not so much accurate because the accuracy of the servo motors is 1 degree and by 1 degree accuracy we cannot get a very accurate writing now i will write c and now i will write v So this much of accuracy we can get by using this setup. As you know I am helping my brother with his Scara robot and the kinematics of the Scara robot I am calculating that. So before going deep into the kinematics part you should know some uh, basic terminology in robotics. So the first terminology is end defector. End defector means the robot gripper. Uh, there are two types of kinematics in robotics. One is forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. In forward kinematics, you know the angle of the motors, alpha and beta, and you have to calculate the end defector position, which is x, y coordinate. And in case of inverse kinematics, you know the x, y position of the end defector, you have to calculate the alpha beta angle, means servo angle. So in the upcoming video, I will show you the inverse kinematics and forward kinematics calculation. It is a little bit longer. So I will show you that in the upcoming video. As my brother told that we are still calculating the forward and inverse kinematics because there are very few resources available on the internet. So we have to calculate the forward and inverse kinematics uh, by our own and we will show the calculation in the upcoming video. If you guys love this video then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community and you can support me by buying me a coffee link is given in the description below and if you are seeing me for the first time or new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further video notifications and the most important thing be creative.